Hi guys, welcome to another video. We've been seeing the market in extreme fear for around 74 days. Finally, we've come out from extreme fear to fear on read and fear index, which is a very, very good news on this upside. Next up, there's a lot of news and buzz around what is happening in Dubai because Dubai, UAE, United Arab Emirates is the stronghold right now for metaverses, crypto projects, and whatever is happening on the blockchain technology. UAE, Dubai is the place to go. Glassnode is the best place to find Bitcoins on-chain data. The realized price was way below the average price that we were seeing. A realized price is when minus accumulation and mining is equal to the price that we are representing on the charts. So finally, we are at those levels where the price has reached the realized price. It's just trying to break above those areas, which is just around our 200 moving average on the weekly. Hopefully things do get better here. Now let's get into our chart. See, are things going to remain bullish? or we might just have some bearish things coming along the way. First thing first, let's look into DXY, the most important indicator that I always like to discuss on this channel. We are right now facing that downtrend that I discussed that we have to have a retest of 106, likely still going down, which is a very, very good sign. And on the opposite, cryptocurrencies are seeing a good upside. So this looks all good for now. Support level is going to be coming soon, really at 105. USDT's dominance, one of the most important dominance to show us it's a bull market or a bear market. It has broken a very key support on the four hours. We have lost the green box and now we are still going down. But previously we have done this. I'm still not bullish on whatever we're seeing in the market. So I, I still kind of remain slightly bearish because I have this feeling when the Fed have a rate hike and more data come out along this week on the US economic data, we might see some kind of movement coming from here because we are facing big resistance from our weekly candles. So maybe four or five days more, we're gonna find out and have a confirmation of bull market or a bear market continuation. We might witness buy the rumor, sell the news. So that kind of representing on the chart for four hours on Ethereum's dominance. Ethereum dominance is now having a downturn and it is testing that beautiful uptrend that it saw. BTC USD for our chart. Another important chart right now for us to look at. Where is divergence forming on the RSI? But most importantly, we're still above the 50 MA and 200 MA. We are still above that golden cross. So things are looking very, very bullish on the shorter time frames. For now, the daily is beginning to get into that sort of momentum. So if we get in the daily chart as well, in the daily chart, we are broken up, we are breaking above our resistance zone and have clearly made some kind of support on top of the critical zone. Best thing that we can see on the daily right now is we have regained the 50 MA on the daily, very, very bullish news, but we are still building some kind of a bearish divergence on the RSI. If we get on the Ethereum's four hour chart, so on Ethereum four hour chart, similar pattern, building some kind of bearish divergence on the RSI, had a very, very good upside, is still above those levels. We would ideally wanna see 1700 to 1800. My target in the previous videos was around 1800, but we went all the way up to $1,628. A brilliant move on the news of the merge. Looks very, very good right now above the golden cross. So brilliant on the four hours for now. If we get in the daily chart, the daily chart is facing resistance now from the worst case scenario, which is very, very interesting. We would wanna see a break above from here. If we do see a break above from here, likely, gonna come into that 1800 range and probably into the 2000s if it comes into the 2000s that will be a very very bullish move let's get into the five year cycle top and bottom charts on this chart we are clearly above the 200 moving average on the weekly chart if we zoom in a bit and look into it we have broken above a bearish peanut flag but obviously we still have four days to go so can't just be one-sided right now and be like oh my god we had bullish breakout and now i'm gonna be bullish we might see a reversal in the next four days so just gotta be pretty cautious here not feel too bullish not feel too bearish trade what you see on the charts let's get in the gate.io's big data we are on fear levels of 31. finally we have broken above that extreme fear that was in the market for almost 74 days long and short ratio global data and block trades Pretty even Stevens, one hours are also pretty even Stevens. Not much activity except 59.09% people are in long positions on block trades in the one hour. Funding rate for BTC, negative. Ethereum funding rate is positive. Market sentiment for both of them is neutral. That is very, very good news. Let's get into the blockchain project discounts on gate.io. So we're gonna be seeing money swap. 
going to be starting in the startups in about 18 hours after that we're going to be looking at label foundation which is going to be starting in 20 hours so these are the coins for you to get into we've seen a good upside on dcrn and other coins that were in the startup on the newly listed so if you get into the newly listed you can see zana is going to be coming very very soon zana is another very big project it's just starting already seeing a big upside of about 800 to 700 percent just in that range overall a lot of coins here performed really well land of conquest up about 100 percent 30 three percent upside on lever we're also seeing a massive upside on round x so great returns some amazing returns can be made here on the new listed and startup project so if you are a vip member startup is the place for you to go if you aren't you gotta wait for these coins to launch in the newly listed so finally the realized price is already there things are looking very very bullish on the shorter time frames on chain data is also looking very good just con confluence here and there on some indicators but that's okay that's how this markets are gonna reverse hopefully we're gonna see a bullish continuation and not a bearish continuation not a reversal in the coming days so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel gonna be back in here soon take care guys bye bye